Hey guys, welcome back to Sendrith Rezur's Adventures in Project Quorum. Today we are in the Event Zone Tower of Kerns, and we're going to go team up with the same paladin you saw me teaming up with on the Shaman. At that point he was like 21 or something. Now he's, uh, let's just say he's higher, okay? He's like 29. He's just been killing it, killing it. So we're gonna go join him deep in the depths of the basement in this place. And we are we already did it before, I just didn't record it. So we're 88% in to level 23, which is gonna take us to level 24. And that means new heal, new undead nuke. Basically it means that we're just gonna amp things up. Because we'll keep going, why not? Keep pushing it in this awesome event zone with the XP. I brought my low-level Necro here, got him a box, the Shaman got a box here, so now literally all my characters have boxes. Um, the Ranger's got a box, the Cleric's got a box, the Enchanter has a box, the Necro has a box, and the Shaman's got a box. Oh my gosh, I've got so many characters now. Let's just do a quick summary of this, let's see. We got the Ranger at 38, about to ding 39, Mero. We've got Miana the Enchanter, she is currently... 33. We have, I'm trying to go in order of highest to lowest level. Next would be Sendrith, the cleric, at level 23, about to ding 24. Then we have our shaman, who is level 18, pretty close to 19. And the necro, which is level 11. So, we got quite the roster. Still plenty of time before Kunark. I'm having fun swapping back and forth. I don't think I'm going to max all of them, maybe not even any of them before Kunark. Probably the Enchanter though, if I had to guess. I bet the Enchanter will get there. But I'm happy with that. I'm not seeing the need to push for Max prior to Kunark. And the reason for that is um, basically um, let's say when Kunark comes out, there's some awesome zones to be leveling up in. You know what I mean? Right? I mean, am I wrong? No. You know I'm right. And there are zones for the, the 40s. They're perfect zones for the 40s. So I don't see any particular reason to really, you know, cram it in to try to get to that point. So we're going to team up with Kalmathar on his paladin. We're going to have to figure out where where in the world Carmen San Diego is, Kalmathar San Diego is. We know that he is in the basement though so he is currently working on some new updates on the UI because apparently uh, what's his name um, salty released another version of the zeal file so I think that was to improve the camera and whatnot but anyway we are going to have to figure out our way to the lowest point I should probably load the map. I'm going to give it a pause while I figure this out and get into position. All right, here we are, boyos. We found him. There's Northguard. And we're going to start healing him up. Just going to start change healing. Because he looks a little bit low on HP. And here we go, the grind begins. All right. All right, so here we are. Apparently he's still having trouble finding dark blues for himself to kill. We, th we were expecting some higher level stuff. This is probably getting involved right now. No, he's just going to walk on by. Okay. Interesting. So Kalmathar is our good friend. He hooked us up again with our Charred Guardian Shield and our Adamantite Epaulaps. Really cranked our wisdom up. Unfortunately, that makes for quite the mana pool, which makes it feel like medding takes forever. But...
He's saying that, uh, I don't know how long he's been on, maybe not long. He came down here hoping to find dark blues, but he's not finding them. All he sees here are light blue and green. Now we know there are some dark blue. There are the greater skeletons. But um, they're rare. There's no like spot where it's like all greater, mostly greater ice bone skeletons. I think it's the greater ones, or I forget the exact name. I think it is. You think... Uh, you'd think that superior just sounds like better than greater, but I think um, greater is higher. I remember there is one tier higher than the ones we're looking at now. So that's what he's trying to track down. So he's lolling stuff. We're running around. He's looking for, you know, stuff to kill that will give him better XP than what we've been doing thus far but all we're seeing are superiors everywhere Here he is calm and everything, but I just told him, hey man, if you need me to invis us, just let me know. But uh, he's taking the lead here, so. Looks like we're doing this the old school. Root was already worn off, oh jeez. Things better go well, because... Unlike him, we're going to take a beating. Keep getting interrupted on the root cast. We seem to be okay. We're going to help finish off this guy. I feel like I'm getting hit by someone else, but no, I don't see another mob, but I got took a couple hits there. It didn't look like this one was attacking me, so that was interesting. Oh, we got two seconds on that route. Why isn't he looking at me? Oh, there he goes. Oh, I was too late. There, yeah, he's, he's rooted. Okay, let's finish this guy off. Yeah, Cleric Melee, baby. 16. What? what? Let me get another one in there. Oh... Alright, now we can met up. We still got 70 mana. See, that's the thing. It takes forever to met up, but it also takes forever to use our mana. You know, I threw in a couple, a nuke or two, I think. Look at how quick he rips these guys apart. It's just ridiculous. Now, I wonder if anybody knows, please let me know. Is there a higher chance of proccing with a proc weapon on a lower level mob? Or is it just purely dex and it's the same percentage chance across the board, green to red? It seems like there might be more procs on lower levels, but then again, it also seems like maybe not. Just asked Kalmathar if he's got an FBSS on this guy here. He says, borrowed the ranger's items, which I think is another way of saying, yes I do, yes I do. Sorry, I got this kindergarten song stuck in my head. Do you like broccoli? Do you like broccoli? Yes I do, yes I do. Do you like ice cream? Do you like ice cream? Yes I do, yes I do. Boodly, boodly, boodly. Do you like broccoli ice cream? Ew! Yucky! No, I don't! <laughs> Welcome to my world, day in and day out. Now, you guys aren't seeing it because I turned it off. I noticed on one video I had my map showing on the recording and it was blocking a beautiful troll face in a group shot, so you're not seeing it, but I still have my spell timer up 
and I had my map up, and I just closed it because I realized well, I don't need my map right now. I'm just wandering around with this guy. What do I need a map for? Boom! Enjoy that nuke. You enjoy some HP. You know what? Let's get some. Let's get a better view on over here. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Let's, let's, there we go. Sorry about the jerkiness of the camera. Just trying to get a good shot for you guys. That's decent. Yeah. Let's just uh. Let's just meter up. Maybe we'll throw in another nuke here. Hasten the process. Even we don't really want to tax our mana too much. We want to keep it up for those times when we do get an exorbitant number of ads. We are six percent away from hitting level twenty-four, and I have my key twenty-four spells on me right now. I don't have all of them, but I have the most important key ones. So, um, exciting news there. Now let's see what he thinks. Whoa, what the? Where'd this guy come from? Already? I don't think Kamathar realizes I'm in combat quite yet. Let me see if I can make some noise with the nuke. There we go. Back off a wee bit. Let him take the aggro. There we go. So I'm hooked up on buffs right now. Oh, looks like we're going to have an ad. There we go, crowd control. This is why you save your mana for situations like this. So we're watching the root clock. That's all we're going to do. We're going to save up our mana and watch that root clock. Faster spawns here? Seems like. That's what I just said. Because I we just killed these guys. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what's going on? But they're all light blue, I think, to him. So, I don't think he needs my help with DPS. 10 seconds on route. And let's refresh it now. Better early than late. I was trying to think of like a better late than never equivalent for this moment. But, uh, no, if you're late, it's pretty much you screwed the pooch. Because <laughs> then the mob's in melee range of the target and the route doesn't help. And he's got to reposition all over again. Now we can see how he's crushing with his hits. Um, 27. You know, he's not landing all that many procs. Spell timer seems right on the money right now. Which, for some reason, I remember when I had when I was doing the enchanter, it seemed like it would say, the spell timer would say the spell is going to run off, and then it'd, it'd be like two or three seconds after. Right now, it seems like it's literally right as it comes off the spell timer. It wears off in the game, which I prefer. I prefer exactitudes. I don't need anybody adding a little safety zone for me. I'll add my own safety zone. You know what I'm saying? It makes it harder to get maximum efficiency. You know, time that cast so it lands like a half a second before it was going to fade off. That boom, rerouted. Getting maximum duration. That's the way I do. Let's finish this guy. Boom. And it looks like our buddy needs a heal or two. And we'll let him heal himself up, because I think, you know, what's the paladin using his mana for anyway? He doesn't really want to nuke when he's, once he's fighting. What? 
Am I, are my bags full right now? You gotta be kidding me. I forgot to sell crap. Man. Now I'm in a predicament of sorts, because what do I throw away? Aww. Cloth. Sorry, Cloth. You're done. You're done, boyo. I got a hat that does three wisdom, but I got hooked up with the crown of leaves, which does five. Oh no, that hat only does two. Wow, again? With another another guy hopping on us? Alright. So spell sets are in in the New Zeal. That's what Kalmathar is saying right now. The New Zeal allows us spell sets. Now I wish I could tell you more about that. I will give you a vague rundown. But I'm guessing the majority of the people listening know more about it than me. I never used spell sets before. Um, didn't have spell sets in P99 that I knew of. And if they're there, I never used them. And plus, I spent most of my time prior to the server playing a cleric. And you know, what spell sets do you really need? I mean, yeah. I was soloing on P99 Blue, so I should have had a spell set for grouping and for soloing. I do remember mention of it, so it might have been an option on P99 Blue as well that I just was too lazy to figure out and take advantage of. But for those of you who are interested in that, spell sets sound pretty cool, and I am also thinking I should figure it out and put it to use, at least for the enchanter. And if I do that, then I do it on all the characters, right? So, um, might have, it'd be good for almost every character. For the shaman, that could have a soloing spell set and a grouping spell set. Or even like a group 1 spell set and a group 2 spell set. Group 2 being like buffage. Like when it's time to buff, you load up that spell set. All the buffs are meant. You just... You know. The thing is, though, a lot of buffs have variance in duration. And I like to, since I have the spell timer, I like to uh, not do all the buffing at once get maximum use of the durations and it's also nice if, if every like 15 minutes you're casting one or two of your buffs instead of casting you know six buffs all at once it's better for your you know mana consistency um, yeah what else needs to be said there there's another proc see we're two percent away now XP counter says we're getting 58 percent per hour Considering that a lot of these are light blue to him, that's pretty good. When I first started, and I was hearing people talk about, you know, what happens when you group with a higher level. Some people said that if you group with a higher level, and the mob cons light blue to him, you're also, oh, I just got 2% on that. Then you're also getting the same light blue XP, but it doesn't seem like it to me. It seems like if it cons dark blue to you, you're getting dark blue XP. I should have invis myself. So we got a new nuke and a new heal. Right now we are scribing. I just grabbed one and started scribing it. Wasn't exactly sure what it was. Ah, uh, you begin scribing bravery. Oh, okay, that's the. Oh, he didn't aggro me. Thank God, I was almost done. I am almost done. Not was. Don't don't jinx yourself by saying it as if you're already screwed. This also frees up some inventory space. Yay! Let's invis ourselves. Anyway, I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna scribe these spells. And then uh, when I have something to say or some news to report, I will flip it back on. Don't need to see the whole grind, but maybe if we find a new camp or something. All right. So we've got our new Greater Healing. We've got our new Dismiss Undead. And we got our new HPAC buff Bravery. Memmed. Scribed and memmed. Here we are making a swim for it. Oh, I gotta take a breath. my swimming is pretty low and I don't know how long this thing goes
Got a few levels of swimming there. So we are we're next tier now. That's huge upgrades, especially in this zone where everything's undead. So now that we got Dismiss Undead, we got the same nuke that he's proccing on his on his ghoulbane, which he has been proccing on his ghoulbane for since level twenty. <laughs> which is crazy to think about. That he's proccing, his ghoulbane is proccing a nuke that I don't even get till 24 as a cleric. And he is a, you know, paladin. <laughs> that ghoulbane is just so OP, dude. Hit the mana stone a bit. Crank up the mana. So we can participate in the violence here. There, he got a proc down at 65%. Boom! Now he's down to 36%. Just like that, we were ripping them apart. Having trouble getting the camera to do a, a spin around if I'm sitting when I hit F9. Like if I'm not sitting... Like, like, what's this going on? I don't even know what this is. It's like overhead, super overhead view. I don't know. So, I don't know how it is sometimes that I can't pan around. Other times I can. But, uh... I'll figure it out later. I'm sure uh, this guy I'm playing with is probably the one to know. He's uh, always messing with the UI and... He knows all about the new updates from the zeal and whatnot. So, he probably knows those details. Oh, it looks like we're about to get an ad. I don't know. I'm lagging too much, so... Yep, there's an ad. Well, let's just finish this guy off. We don't need to, to worry about it. Boom. Let's just contribute like one nuke per. So we keep a consistent pace instead of what I was sometimes doing is like doing nothing for a mob and then nuking one mob twice. But yeah, it feels nice to have finally gotten the box. It feels nice to hit 24. Makes this guy much more eligible for doing stuff and I think I got a new res as well there's like a new res at every spell level it seems like uh, it's been a while since I played TLP I know TLP has the same sort of thing going on uh, P99 doesn't but uh, since I use P99 wiki I haven't been seeing it on there and I think that's why my brain doesn't really remember it so we're basically just hunting around for mobs that will con dark blue to our friend here. So you see him calming everything. Here's a major. I think, yes, yeah, the major, not the greaters. The majors, I think, that are for sure... Oh, they're not worth jack diddles. Okay, so we didn't get hit there, but let's 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 finish this off quick. This is an interesting spot to be hanging out. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna double nuke him. Go boom. And I'll I'll tank it for a second, why not? Bring it on, bro. Dude, you got freaking janked. Lol, this guy don't want any. He's like... He's like, nah, I'm cool. Afraid to sit though.
Alright guys, so this is it. I mean, I wish I had more to say, more to do, more to, to think and feel for you. But uh, I don't, so I'm just going to pause it until I do. whoop de doo be doo I will talk to you soon. Alright you guys, I'm pausing for this greater heal. 57% goes up to 86. So we're doing like 30% HP now on a heal. <coughs> and for, for Northguard. We should have pretty decent HP. I didn't quite pay attention to how much of my mana it cost me. But um, that's fine. I can figure that out later. Okay, pausing again. Alright, you guys. The pickings were too slim, so... Kalmathar feels like going f back upstairs, because he's thinking the spawns are about the same upstairs, but at least when you're upstairs, you got all, a lot more people clearing out the lower level mobs and maybe leaving the higher level ones available. This one might be his level range. Wow, we are we are in Lag City, my friends. Lag City. There we go, we killed that mofo. Hopefully that group ain't too mad about that. Anyway, so he wants to head upstairs, but I threw out the idea of going to unrest because I did a slash who all unrest and we saw three people. Now that doesn't include anonymous, but I mean, so maybe there's what, five, six? You know what I mean? Because everyone's in the event zones right now. So this is a perfect time for us to go get a duo going on in the unrest area. Anyway, going to pause it while I sell all the junk, filling up my bags, and see what else we're going to do today. All right, so we, we went out of there, and uh, Northgard was like, I only got an hour left in this session. Um, you know, he's thinking about heading upstairs, because, you know, heading to unrest would just be a trip. And that would take a portion of his, you know, time frame left. I think he's eager to hit the next level. I think he gets some new spells or something. And I'm like, you know, like, I'd be down for unrest, but... I think I'm more of, you're finding so few spawns that are worth killing for you that I think I'm more of like a drag because I'm taking half the experience when you do. You know what I mean? It's not like we're able to just grind out a ton of mobs like we were doing before, which I didn't record. So I'm kind of a drag. It, it doesn't seem that f all that fun. This is our second round doing it. and um, but it was really cool getting the level and trying the new spells. And I'm like, I, if, if you want to go back in the tower solo, I'm actually in the middle of a movie with the wife. So uh, we're watching Dune Part 1. I thought it was Dune Part 2 on my little smart TV. But it turns out they're just you know advertising Dune 1 because 2 just came out. But we haven't seen it for a while. And the first time I saw it, I didn't like it. So I'm like, people say such good things about it. I'm going to give it a second shot. I think I was just too attached to the sci-fi original series version, which I think was awesome. So, um, and giving it a second shot, it is, it does have some beautiful cinematography. It kind of reminds me of like, uh, the new Blade Runner and, and I like that style. I really enjoyed the new Blade Runner actually with a uh, Ryan Gosling. Okay. I admit, I, I got a crush on the guy, <laughs> but I like the style of movie and it feels good. I just, the thing that really irks me is Paul. Like 
he just feels a little too weak. A little too weak. I mean, he's got some, you know, sterling eyes, but I really feel Paul Atreides in the sci-fi original series, while he was a little more volatile emotionally, I think it fits a little better with the character, his uh, his physique, his attitude. Because um, Paul Atreides, uh, he does become like kind of a madman later on. And it, it doesn't... If, if you've read the books, which I did long before I saw any of the movies. Uh, and so, oh, I don't know. I just feel like if you run to see a really cool Dune, really cool Baron scenes. I mean, I really am. I, I think the Baron was kind of cool in this new one, but they have some beautiful Shakespearean dialogue going on in the Harkonnen scenes in the sci-fi original series. And I think it's like a three-part or two-part series. Um, you know, like long two hour movies, like three parts, but, um, I think it was, it was awesome. It was awesome. So if you want to see a Dune that might be even better than the new one, as controversial as that opinion is, check out the sci-fi original version. For example, um, one of the things I liked, the Gurney Halleck, he's, he's the one training Paul Atreides when they're having the, in the beginning you know, when they're getting ready to leave their home planet to go to Arrakis and they're doing the fight and he, and he, and Paul Atreides is like, I'm not in the mood, um, in the old one. And I think also in the book, they took the line straight out of the book. The line is, um, mood is for wine and women or for cattle and women or something like that. Not for fighting boy. And then the new one, he's like, you fight whether or not you're in the mood. I'm like, well, yeah, that's the point. But he had a much, you know, cooler way of saying it, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's probably, uh, probably wanted to own the character you know whoever's playing gurney probably wanted to have his own his own thing going on maybe also it's a little bit politically incorrect to say mood moods are for cattle and women or wine and women or something so um because the women part in case you didn't catch where the political incorrectness was coming from but uh yeah you know i like that style and i feel like eh, I'm liking it. The second time through, I am enjoying it. But um, the biggest thing for me is Paul Atreides. I just, uh, he's just so freaking scrawny. And it's like, how is this guy going to be the best warrior? Is he just all agility? He's like a rogue, you know? It's like a rogue with like super awesome stats. Like an epic rogue. <laughs> Slash enchanter, because he's able to like charm people with his voice, right? But uh, the Paul Atreides in the old one, I feel like. He flirted with the madness a little better, but I haven't seen number two, so uh, I'll have to see. People say they love it, and oh yeah, it's the Paul Atreides, and I loved the Shakespearean dialogue moments in the uh, House Harkonnen scenes. So, anyway, rambling on here, you guys. Hope you like this episode. Sundar Thrazur playing with Kalmathar. It's the first time we ever were able to play with him. I mean, he swung by and giving us donations and whatnot, but this is the first time we got to play with them, and I loved it. had tons of fun. Um, I always say thank you for taking me along, because if you think about it, he's higher level. He's got the ghoul bane. He's got all the gear you could possibly want, haste, and he's got a bunch of dex-specific gear, so tons of AC. So he is crushing those skeletons, land and procs. There is nothing that he could duo up with that would make his day any better. Like maybe an enchanter, you know. <laughs> or maybe a shaman would be best that could haste him. I don't think shamans get haste until 29, though. So that's why I said enchanter, because anything that incre uh, increases the speed or of the procage or the hitting, that's going to be what's of great value to him. His AC is so high, he's hardly getting hurt, you know. And I almost feel like uh, he could heal himself and, or just like not even heal himself Keep fighting, 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 cruising through all these mobs. And then, you know, uh, what's the, the healing hands himself or whatever. <laughs> and like, I don't think he needs to heal so much. My nukes are the same as his proc. I mean, they're costing me mana. You know what I mean? So, so I thank you for taking me along. But he says he appreciates it, as I would in his shoes. Because, you know, yeah, grind, grind, grind. But it's fun to play with a friend, chat a little bit, get some... Uh, should not be doing the solo alone grind. It makes things more interesting sometimes. So anyway, you guys, I will catch you on the next episode. Sendrith might be an alt on the server, but don't forget, 
Sendrith is the main of my heart. See you later.